Within the darkest corners of our solar system, a mystery shrouded in secrecy has just been revealed. The mysterious world of Pluto has always been a source of fascination for both astronomers and space enthusiasts. But now, NASA has just declassified never-before-seen photographs of Pluto, revealing surprising secrets. Pluto, once hailed as the ninth member of our solar system's club of planets, now holds a unique distinction as the most massive dwarf planet known. It resides in the distant Kuiper Belt, a realm far beyond the influence of Neptune. Here, Pluto finds its cosmic neighbors amid a variety of icy rock companions, even brushing up against sizable comets, each with a diameter greater than 62 miles or 100 kilometers. The year 2006 marked a turning point for Pluto when it faced a cosmic identity crisis. Astronomers and the general public became involved in heated debates after its reclassification as a dwarf planet. However, Pluto's journey to celestial fame began in 1905 when American astronomer Percival Lowell first hinted at its existence. Lowell was a keen observer of Uranus and Neptune, noting singularities in their orbits. He theorized that the mysterious culprit was the gravitational force of an invisible celestial body. Intriguingly, Lowell attempted to predict the location of the hidden planet in 1915, but unfortunately did not live to witness its actual discovery in 1930. Credit for the revelation of Pluto goes to Clyde Tombaugh, who worked diligently at the Lowell Observatory. Tombaugh's discovery validated Lowell's predictions and the theories of other astronomers. Interestingly, the name Pluto itself has an interesting history. It was not coined by scientists, but by an imaginative 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney, from Oxford, England. She suggested her name to her grandfather, who then passed it on to Lowell Observatory. The choice of Pluto pays homage to the Roman god of the underworld, Pluto, and remarkably coincides with Percival Lowell's initials. Pluto's icy surface is home to another captivating aspect. It is among the coldest places in our solar system, with temperatures dropping to a frigid minus 375 to minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed changes on Pluto's surface, hinting at possible seasonal variations. Pluto is very far from the Sun, about 40 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Its orbit around the Sun is long and takes 248 Earth years to complete. In terms of size, Pluto is small, with a radius of only 1,188 kilometers, much smaller than the planets and some of its lunar companions, such as our Moon. Its mass is only 18 times the mass of our Moon. Due to its small size, it has been considered a dwarf planet since 2006. Pluto has had an interesting journey through space, moving closer and further away from the Sun over time. Pluto is moving further and further away from the Sun, like a car moving away from its starting point. In the year 2113, it will be very far away, almost 49.3 times farther than Earth is from the Sun. This makes it appear distant and difficult to see, even with powerful telescopes. To study it better, we sent a spacecraft called New Horizons. It took a long journey of nine and a half years to reach Pluto. Along the way, the spacecraft took photos of Jupiter and sent them to Earth. Finally, in 2015, New Horizons reached Pluto and allowed us to discover more about this mysterious world that had kept its secrets hidden for a long time. New Horizons did not stop there and traveled beyond Pluto, collecting many interesting data. It then sent that data back to Earth, which took quite some time. This is like taking photos on a distant trip and then sending them home to share with your friends. It is important to know that New Horizons did not remain orbiting Pluto, it just happened to pass by him. This allowed him to continue exploring other things in space. After Pluto, scientists were excited to discover what's inside Pluto. They think it has a large core made of ice water and rocks beneath its surface. 
Around that core, there is a layer of ice that can cause interesting movements on the surface, like tectonic plates on Earth. Finally, on the outside, Pluto has a layer of frozen gases, such as nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. This layered structure makes Pluto an intriguing place to explore, like a cosmic treasure waiting for scientists to unlock its secrets. Pluto's surface is extremely cold, almost like a giant freezer, with temperatures that dip very low, around minus 213 degrees Celsius or 60 Kelvin. When we explore Pluto, one of the most striking things is a region called Tamba Regio. It looks like a big heart and is very large, covering a quarter of Pluto's surface. It's like finding a giant, frozen heart in space. This region has a flat, bright part called Sputnik Planitia, which is like a vast plain. But the most interesting thing is that the surface of the Tamba Regio is covered with a layer of ice that shines with a special color. In some places, this ice sheet reflects up to 90% of sunlight, giving it a shiny, almost magical appearance. It's like it's part of a fairy tale. So when we look at Tamba Regio, we're not seeing just normal ice, but a bright, enchanting spectacle that adds a magical touch to Pluto. In a region of Pluto called Sputnik Planitia, what really stands out is that it doesn't have many craters, meaning it is quite young in geological terms. This is thought to be due to a large collision with another space object about 100 million years ago. That collision created a huge crater that then filled with frozen water, forming the plains we see now. You can think of these plains as giant ice pancakes with interesting shapes. In another part of Pluto called Tamba Regio, there are impressive mountains. To the west of Sputnik Planitia are the Hillary Mountains, which are very high. If you go south, you will find the Tenzing Mountains, some of which are even higher, becoming the tallest mountains on Pluto. What is surprising is that these mountains are mainly made of ice, although they are as solid as rocks due to the low temperatures on Pluto. There is also a deep basin that scientists believe could be the remnant of an ancient ice volcano. All of this helps us better understand what Pluto is like on the inside and how it has changed over time. Although Pluto is far away and cold, it is a very interesting place for science. On a part of Pluto east of Tamba Regio, the land is darker and full of craters, like a frozen history book showing us that Pluto has changed over time. Despite moving away from the sun, its atmosphere has become denser because the sun causes nitrogen ice to evaporate and move toward the poles. Pluto also has a unique orbit and always shows the same face to its moon Charon due to gravity. It is a special place in our solar system.